Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is my third video on refrigeration plant which is there on board ship. In this video, we will see uh, the auto start, stop and defrost cycle of this plant. So friends, uh, before I begin with this video, do subscribe to my channel and keep learning. Now let's start this video. So this is the plant uh, which we have already studied in my last video. Uh, this plant is there on board ship. So if you have not watched my last video, which is uh, the tracing of these lines, this refrigeration plant, then you can watch that video. Now let's see how this uh, start stop and defrost cycle take place in this uh, refrigeration plant system. So uh, the compressor, this compressor which is present, actually the thing is this these uh, systems are designed to operate one plant at a time. Like suppose if this is plant one and this is plant two, so these plants, these two, both the plants cannot be uh, run parallelly but uh, provision is there so that we can run them parallelly for some time but uh, for continuous operation for long time long duration we cannot run these plants parallelly so uh, at one time only one plant will be running so let's suppose uh, system one is running so the compressor starts and stops by low pressure controller in response to change in the pressure in the compressor suction line so this is the low pressure controller as i have already told you uh, in my last video so when uh, each room temperature is brought down like suppose we have four at, uh, room temperatures four rooms the meat room fish room veg room and uh, uh, this dairy room when all the uh, all these temperature are brought to their set value the solenoid walls which is present in each compartment like this like all the compartments uh, this solenoid wall will close and the liquid refrigerant uh, will stop going to that place. So when all the solenoid walls are shut, the pressure drop in the compression suction will cause the compressor to stop through low pressure controller. So this is how the plant stops when all the temperatures are reached and all the solenoid walls are shut. Now again when a subsequent rise of uh, complete, uh, compartment temperature takes place the solenoid walls will reopen and uh, the refrigerant will again start to flow these solenoid walls are operated by the thermostats which is uh, mounted which is uh, fixed on the evaporator uh, evaporator of the of each comp uh, compartment so as uh, the solenoid walls are open again, the pressure rise in the compression suction acts through the low pressure controller and the compressor restarts. So this is how start and stop of compressor take place. There is also a high pressure cutout uh, with a hand reset which operates to shut down the compressor in event of excessive high pressure. So that, uh, that is a safety. Now let's see the uh, this uh, defrosting cycle. So the, if this plant is continued uh, run for uh, uh, few days or few months, then the evaporators which are operating in sub zero temperatures like minus 20 uh, degrees Celsius, the fish room and the meat room, uh, the icing take place on the evaporator coils and so the heat exchange process is uh, does not take place properly. So in that case, we have to melt that ice. So for that, we have a defrost sequence or cycle to melt that ice. So let's see the defrost sequence. Uh, uh, sequence starts with the compressor stopping and all the solenoids all in the system are getting closed. So after that, the fans in the, uh, the evaporating fans in the freezing room stops working but the fans in the chilled room that is in the vegetable room or the dairy room they continue to circulate hot air over the cooler and this way they keep cooling the surface free of ice so only 
on the uh, meat room and uh, fish room the evaporator fan stops and in the dairy room and the veg room evaporator fans continue to run after this the electric heating element in the freeze room uh, they are switched on so as long as the coolers are covered with ice the melting takes place and uh, all the heat is taken away and the temperature of the cooler and the refrigerant is uh, constantly kept near zero because ice is uh, till the ice is present the temperature won't increase so when the ice has melted the refrigerant temperature will rise in the freezing uh, room and when the temperature reaches a set point that is approximately 10 degrees plus 10 degrees then the sensor uh, again senses this temperature and is switched off switched off this heating heating elements and this uh, solenoid valves are opened and compressor starts again so when the coil surface temperature has gone below the freezing point the fan in the freezing room starts again so after the compressor started and temperature has uh, reached in the uh, in, in the evaporator coils then the evaporator fan starts again in the meat room and uh, veg, uh, sorry fish room whereas in the veg, veg room and uh, this dairy room the evaporating fan is already running so the system is uh, now again back on refrigerating cycle so this is how uh, the defrost cycle take place on this plant so thank you friends hope you have enjoyed something enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends till then take care have fun